It's time for Kitchen Creations. Today we're making banana undagi. Sounds good, huh? We got Chef Ronnie here from Tiki's Grill and Bar. And if undagi. You want undagi. Today's recipe in the Star Advertiser Crave section in the Mariko Jackson column, if you want to check it out. We're making it here. It smells delicious. There's a couple going on already. Okay. It is delicious. You tried one already. They're donut holes. We pre-cooked them so they would <laughs> so they would cool off so you could eat some. Okay. All right. So okay. Okay. how do you make these? They're all different sizes because I'm an amateur at, at donut holes. No, no. You you specifically made those smaller because you wanted to test it out, right? It's really it's really good. So um, I'll show you how to make it. Right? Okay. Let's so, do this. Uh, like all drop batters, uh, wet wet ingredients to wet, dry to dry. So you have some um, some vanilla extract. Good. A teaspoon, a third a cup of milk. I think is what it said there. Mm -hmm. Okay, an egg. I'm just gonna eat while you cook. Yeah, go ahead. Right? We're gonna whip all that up. You mm -hmm. could do that. Oh, but okay. you're eating, that's fine, eat. Okay, dry to dry, flour. It's a uh, cup and a third, I believe. A tablespoon of uh, baking powder. A quarter teaspoon of salt. And two thirds of a cup of sugar. Okay. Which I thought was a lot, but it's not a lot because no. they're not overly sweet, they're nice. They're not. So you mix all this up, right. right? Get your dry to dry mixed. You whip all this up. Good job, right? Nice. <laughs> right. I need validation. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job. You mix this in here, right? Now for the bananas, is this kind of like banana bread where you gotta get really ripe bananas? I, I think that the riper the better for this would be within reason, right? If they're nice and, uh, what are they called? When Squishy. They have leopard, oh. lep when they're nice and spotted all over. Oh, okay. Before they, when the skin is nice and spotted. Okay, so at that point you put the bananas right in there. Let's mash them up. It's just to mash them up. Okay. Pretty thick. Yeah, I thought it was a little thick. I actually <laughs> added a little more milk to that one. Okay. Because I wasn't sure. I was questioning my measurement. Oh. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was measuring back and forth. All right. But um, but no, then it actually settled, and it got I, maybe I didn't need to. Because look, it, it it's it, pretty thick. It, well, it actually came a little bit wetter. Ah. It kind of fell. So I think if you incorporate this really nicely, mm -hmm. you get a nice um, a stiff batter, not so much as a drop batter, right? Okay. And, and then it, if you incorporate it good, it it says not to overmix either, because then you can activate the gluten in the flour, uh, right? Okay. Of course. A lot of these kind <laughs> of recipes. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so once you get the oil going, how hot is this? Uh, recipe calls for 375. It mm -hmm. seems to work out perfect. It's like a fritter, right? Mm -hmm. Like I said, we call them donut holes back. My mother would call it a donut hole. <laughs> okay. Um, they, they actually would flip on their own. Her recipe calls have four inches of oil. I don't quite have that in this pan because of how deep it is and how much oil we had. Okay. But um, they probably would flip on their own. It says about 90 seconds each. They're really good. They're crispy. Side. And Gail, our resident cook here, decided to bring in hot dogs so we can make <laughs> corn dogs out of these as well. We thought it was a brilliant idea. But we want to thank Chef Rodney for coming in today and making these. Undagi. 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 All right, we're going to eat awesome. them. Awesome. Take a break. Be back here on Sunrise. Stay with us. They're really good.